Okay. Oh. You recording? Yes. I asked you a question. That's banded. How good of a day you think? Oh, you sucker. Yo! What up, y'all? And welcome back to another one. Gonna get right into it here. One of my most memorable, unforgettable hunts of uh, last season. Uh, this is the only, yes, the, okay, maybe the second in my life, but for sure one of the most memorable banded mallards that I've ever uh, guided, been on, seen, held, everything. So, but the natural reaction of me, Brad Preston, and all the other guys that were there, and yeah, this was a guided hunt. We had five guys from Georgia. Speaking of which, construction has begun on the duck shack. It's happening, and yes, videos will be coming out at the end of this week, showing you what all step-by-step step is going on. Me and Brad, whole Brad Rails back, my brother, thank you for helping me. We have been getting after it because a lot of you have already been booking days for the Duck Shack. We have dates available if you guys wanna come hunt, just like on this one here. This is a guided hunt, a sand hill hunt, uh, and one of the best ones of the season. We crushed ducks, I think, that day. I'll have to look back, but I think we shot, I'm pretty sure everyone limited out this day. But this reaction is so genuine. This is why people get addicted to duck hunting. Thank God for duck hunting. Thank God for you guys. And enjoy this video. Uh, just shows the spirit and uh, it shows what gets us hooked and keep, what makes us keep coming back every single season. By the way, I'm thinking about guiding some dove hunts down here, two day lodging, no meals. You can cook your own food, hot dogs, whatever on the grill. If any of you would be interested in coming down here and doing some guided dove hunts and staying at the lodge, drop a comment down below and let me know. But without further ado, enjoy the video. Morning. Morning. It's a cold one. I kinda struggled. Did you see what I did to start the generator? Did you use a drill? The, the rope broke, so I went and grabbed the... Cranked it with a drill? Yeah, they fired right up. Jeez, I heard you say, they don't teach you that in school. <laughs> uh, what's up, y'all? Welcome back. We are at the duck hole, the big, big duck hole. There's a duck out front. Um, we had to use the uh, ice eater and the Argo to break us up a whole icy... The first actual ice hole hunt of the season. Mm -hmm. Yeah, buddy. We're expecting some mallards like there is on the left right now. Uh, we got about, what time is it? It is five minutes. Five minutes. I'm gonna give the safety speed, look at them ducks. Everybody watching these ducks out front, guys, go ahead and stand up and watch these ducks. So that's gonna be your shot. Everybody hear me? Yep, yep. That is your shot. The low light, stay standing up like you are. Um, once that sun comes up, we'll have to start sitting down. So when we start sitting down, just watch the birds. Getting up late and shooting doesn't work here. Get Stand up a little early to get on them ducks because you only have, you know, two seconds to get up on them. You need to be ahead of them. Um, it's going to be really active. Like I said last night, if a pair or a single get out and they keep going, don't try to drop it way over there because now there's ice today and Fred will not be able to charge through that and get that duck. So let's try to hone our shots in. If you only get one shot off and they're already out, let them go. We'll have plenty to shoot at. So fast shooting, don't bust any ears. Stop at your stopping points when you're swinging and that's it. And just reload right away. Hopefully it gets hectic here uh, in the low light this morning. So everybody good to go? Let's go ahead and load up. And as you notice, we're on a slant. It's a really crucial day to make sure you hold your hun guns or make sure they are propped in there because they will fall today. Let me uh, clip this up. Can you? Hold up. This strap here. Well, I got you on the old mobile device here. These ducks are decoying amazing. Um, we have one minute, probably 30 seconds now. There's a group on the left, guys. Keep, keep track of that one minute. This group could do it dirty right on time. 7.08, shooting light 7.09 today. What time is it? Oh, look it's at those two. Longest minute That's of our lives. two mile. It is the longest minute of our lives, you're right. Uh, are we golden pony boy? 
708 still. Yeah, longest minute It'll be ever. 708 for the next five minutes. Oh, hurry up, time. Hurry up, time. Oh, hurry up. You got how many of you at home experience this when you're like, come on, come on, last minute, last minute. Okay, now we're legal, guys. Get ready. Shoot him. Sit here, Fred. Here, 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 here. Sit. Good. Sit. There we go. One mallard down. <laughs> we got feathers of floating. Good shooting. Only took ten shots, but good shooting. All right, right in the Look dome the piece. Pillowcase. Holy cow! I don't. I don't think I got it on in time. That was gnarly. That dude. was good. Dude, that was a head shooter right I there. That's our hooded merganser. Is it? Yeah. It, oh, it yeah, is. it sure is. Shoot him on the left, guys. That's it. Shoot that one again. 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 <laughs> again. There you go. So you're shooting high, whoever that was. <laughs> At least mowing Fred a path right to it. <laughs> yep. We got a new hole. All right. If you insist, come on. This is going to be cold, buddy. Here, Fred, here. Sit. Fred. That's cold water. Look at him. <laughs> Busting ice. Oh, that's cold. Come on, buddy. Good. That's a lot of, today calls for a lot of praise. Come here, buddy. This way. Here, here. Come on. Look at him. He's he ain't used to the ice yet. Come on. This way. This way. Oh my gosh. Come here. Here, here. Here, here. Heel. Drop. Look at that big old mallard. That's a pretty one. That's a stud muffin. That's a that's fat. Easy on the language button. Feel his uh. Feel his throat right Lots there. of corn. Up. Come on. Come on. Good boy. Come on, here, here. Come on, Fred, here. Fetch it up. Fetch it up. Heel. Drop. <laughs> We got Frederick the heater going. That's gonna help him a ton today. Watch out for my gun there. We're gonna melt her down. We don't want the OSB3 getting melted down now. Where they'd want to land, probably. Yeah. Good boy. You're a warm dog. You're a warm dog, Frederick. <coughs> On the right, teal. Stand up and shoot him. Shoot him. Shoot him. Okay. <laughs> that's why you got to be way. That's why I was like, stand up way before. They are fast. Damn, Chris. You trash. All right. Here's our spread today. Nice and tight. Long and tight. We're going to try to move this ice that's floating in without having to fire up the ice eater in the Argo. But this is it. Uh, as you can tell, everything else, all the big waters froze. This is the only hole. Um, we had to get here about an hour early to get the hole open with the Argo, shove the ice out with the Argo, turn on the ice seeder, blow it out. I know y'all want to see those things, but when it comes to uh, the amount of work it takes to get it done, me and P. Diddy are just too busy to film sometimes, especially now we're guiding. So one up top. Yep, yeah, come on. Come on, buddy. Let's go. Come on. So uh, we got five awesome guys from uh, from Georgia, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, they shoot woodies a bunch. They're, that's what they've been saying. So they're like, we don't care if you shoot a woody. I want a good one to put on the wall. See how it looks. Drop. Uh, not too bad-ish. Not really? Might just be too wet. Yeah, he's pretty wet. What are you thinking? 
You have your finisher? You might have to. Oh, get ready. Come on, Fred. <laughs> what? You putting the old finisher in him? Yeah, I couldn't find the hole. Oh. Not a good first, problem first to have. Time, first time I ever had it. <laughs> Well, we sending Fred on a little icy adventure. Hopefully he comes back the same way he's going out. The path that he's making. We will see. Good boy here. This way, here. Over here. Nope. Over here. Here. Come on. Here, here. Good. Straight back, buddy. He wants to cut back to the bank. No, Fred. This way. Here. Right here. That is our hooded Maganzer, I think. Come on. Good boy. Come on, over here, stay out of the ice. Fred, over here. Gosh, God, I don't know why he wants to swim into the ice. Here, here. That is definitely, drop. Hooded McGanzer. Good boy. Good, here, right here. Come here, come here, come on. Good boy. Come on. You're gonna be a cold dog. We got birds up top, Brad. Come on. Good boy. Set. Question. That is banded. How good of a day you think? Oh, you sucker. No! Oh. We got a banded mallard. Definitely. Holy cow. No, that's the one Fred just brought back. He dropped it. You picked it up and you stayed nice. quiet back there. Good job, Freddy. Good. That's amazing. Okay, get down, get down. <laughs> no freaking way. <sighs> wow. That's a first. That's a first out here. That's the first duck band I've ever been. Really? I don't hunt. I've never killed one. Oh. All right, we're going to put him over here. Let's get down. <laughs> Shoot him out front. Nice shot. Fred here. Fred here. Here, here. Here, here. Fred. Dude, that's so cool. Look at that, Preston. That's awesome. That's your first band at Leon, buddy. Right here, that's the first one. <laughs> so many ducks shot out here, dude. That's so cool. many. Look at him. He might make love to it here. Guys, you know what to do. Come on now. There's ducks. Get in. Did it dive on him? All right. What's your guess on age of the old band? Um, well, I'm going to guess it's a Drake Mallard. Uh, <laughs> yeah, but, <laughs> let me look at it. I support. Yeah, it's pretty worn. I mean, five. Well, so look, I like that guess. I bet you five is close. Hey, look at this one. Look at the... Look at the different. Look, it's definitely How old was older. This one? this one was only two. Yeah, I'd say four. Yeah, you're right. I bet you four or five. What do y'all think? I bet you four or five. Shoot him up top. Nice shot. Okay. There we go. Well, we got. Good job. Good, good. Two of the four? Five? Good shooting. That was a high shot. Yeah. It's it, pretty crazy. I mean, it's I, crazy. Yeah, it's. Yeah, it's cool. Let's go ahead and spill the beans. No, maybe don't tell them. Just make them wait. Just make them wait. Make, make, them, make, them, make me wait. You're sitting on the edge of your seat down there. No, I tell them. Okay. Uh, banded in 2013 as an adult, oh, so wow. it's at least eight year old band. Wow. And uh, 
from South Dakota. South Dakota. Eight oh. year old. That's pretty sweet. At minimum eight. Yeah, at minimum eight. Probably older. Yeah, he's a mature bird. Wow. Well, that's interesting. South Dakota mallard. That's neat. Hear that? That's a good boy, Fred. You retrieved that bird in the ice. Yes, you did, you big dog. He's loving the heater. Everybody, smash the old thumbs up for Frederick. That's a good boy. Well, we got Preston. He's busting open some ice. He picked up two birds that were out on the ice that I couldn't send Fred to go do. Using the old Argo. That Argo, most versatile, best piece of duck hunting equipment a guy could buy. And I'm not kidding you. Look at that. Amazing. Hi, buddy. Hi. That is a nice guy. Woo! Pretty widgeon. What else you get? Too. His girlfriend and then another mallard, not banded. Alright, see ya. I'm over the top, guys, right here. Nice. Sit. Friend. Good boy here. Drop. Out front, guys. Shoot, shoot him. Shoot him. Shoot him. Nice. Fred. Good shot. Oh, shoot. Oh, right up top. <laughs> We're out here listening for geese and freaking us out. <laughs> <laughs> Watch your F words there. I said freaking. Uh, okay. Uh, all the time. One will go by. All morning, one will go by. You don't come in. <gasps> right there. Oh, come on. No, no, no. Try him right there, guys. Yeah! Nice shooting. Yes. Woo! <laughs> Good shooting, guys. That was impressive for that distance. Holy smokes. Here, Fred. Fred's going, ooh, that's a heavy bird, Dad. Come on. Drop. Good boy. Lots of years Preston has been hunting. Uh, that water hole that what it's a watershed actually a giant watershed and you guys that have been here for a long time you have seen so many hunts from there probably over the last what four years and i just want to say thank you from the bottom of my heart to preston and the geist family his father his grandfather uh, for allowing us to go over there and operate some guided hunts on their land that is prime it's very very um the hunting on it it's very limited we're the only ones that do so such a special place thank you again to all the guys family without you guys oh, man you, it would not be easy to get out there and do some awesome hunts thank you guys second of all i really need your guys's input should i do some dove hunts some guided dove hunts dove hunting here in kansas is amazing all september long it's still pretty darn warm all september and hopefully it is because when we remain warm like that, the dove hang around. This could be one of the best dove hunting seasons that I have personally ever seen here in Kansas. So if y'all are interested in coming down for two days, zero mils, I won't provide that, but maybe some teal will be around. Maybe we can mix it up, right? Drop a comment down below and let me know. I'm very interested in trying that. I need to expand my season, right? Other than that, uh, me and P. Diddy are giving away a uh, free hunt for two lucky guys during uh, the middle, mid-September to come down here and teal 
and dove hunt. So it'll be a little trial run if I don't end up doing the guided hunts this year. We are giving that hunt away over on my podcast. The podcast is always linked down below, right down there with the Sand Hill booking link as well. The podcast is popping off. It's about to start getting better and better. Special guest, the season's here. Thank you all for being here. Subscribe if you haven't, but until next time. And it's all I need to know and all you need.